Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be trying out that freck stuff, which is like freckle stuff. Duh. What? As you can see, I've got my wig on. I am dressed. It just, you know, it's a bit low. And I think I'm just going to do some kind of like really nice, like natural-ish base. I don't really know where we're going to go with this, but we're just going to pop makeup on together and enjoy the process, okay? I'm going to start with my Holy Grail CC cream. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of words on here, but I'm going to be using the shade Fair today because I've got zero fake tan on. If I have a little bit of fake tan on, I use the shade Light, or even if I've got like a decent amount of fake tan on. And if I've got a very, very, very fresh fake tan on, I use the shade Medium. I feel like the shades run kind of like dark, you know? This is annoying. If you want to see how I put on my wig, I will link the video down below for you. So I've already like moisturized my skin. I used the Toucha Dewy Skin Cream today. And I'm going to use my Flawless Finish Sponge just to blend this out. I'm still a bit sick as you can hear in my voice. Yay me. This CC cream is just like life. I use it when I'm doing natural looks, dramatic looks. Like if I'm going out clubbing or if I'm just like hanging out on the weekend, like I use it for everything. I love it. I travel with it all the time. It's kind of been my like go-to every day. If you guys want an updated everyday makeup routine, let me know because I can totally do that. Because I've been rocking a very like natural, like simple look lately. And it might be helpful for those of you who just don't have a lot of time to apply makeup. Like honestly, how gorgeous is that base? I love this so much. It's got the most amazing fresh glow to it. You can see it's part of more coverage as well. So how do I use this freak stuff? I should probably check. Like I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it on powder or on like unset foundation or what. I'm so happy I didn't lose this because the packaging is the most tiny little thing I've ever seen in my life. Like it's smaller than a lid. Mm, it does not say. Okay, please hold. Let's Google this. Okay, it just seems to say it works on foundation or bare skin. So I'm going to take my chances and like set my foundation real lightly. First I'll just put on some concealer though. I'm gonna use some of the banana candid one that I used for my first impression. I'll link that video down below. It was really, I don't know, like a roller coaster ride. I like, accidentally took like sleeping pills and then did my makeup so <laughs> if you want to go watch that video feel free. I'm just gonna blend this out and then pop on a lighter concealer on top of it. This is more just to like brighten the area and how to conceal the dark circles. I'm gonna use sharp, sharp, <laughs> sharp tape, tape shape, tape shape. This is in the shade light. Wow. I'm excited for you guys to see my next wig. Woo! What color do you think I've gone for? Let me know. I'll link this wig down below as well. Make sure you go chuck her a follow because she is so talented. And I don't know, I just, if you love wigs like me, I think you'll like her page. I'm gonna set my under eyes with Well Rested. I'm finally onto my new little tub. The stuff takes like years to finish, I swear. And you guys know I use it all the time. It's such good value for money. I've like temporarily lost my bisque color, which is annoying. So I really like bisque, but well rest is really nice too. It's just a little bit harder to work with because it can go quite cakey, I feel. I'm just going to take a little bit of this soul body stuff and just put some on my chest just to like glow it up a little bit because I'm going to keep my face super glowy. Why is this not focusing? Hello! Thank you. So I'm gonna do like a very glowy finish to my skin. Why is my skin peeling weird just here? Is it the moisturizer underneath my skin or something? Underneath my skin. <laughs> underneath my foundation. It's like something's peeling off in layers. It must be the moisturizer. I mustn't have like rubbed it in properly. That's so weird. Never had that happen before. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't continue. So I'm gonna take the little brush it comes with. This is the Platinum Soul. Oh my god. Get off me. I'm just gonna like Rub this just over my chest for a glow. Oh, it smells really strong. It smells good. It smells like pina coladas or something. And then, as you can see in the light, we. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this motion. All right, so that is that. I don't feel so dull anymore. Like, I don't know, my skin's just so dull, especially when my body's so dry. Before I do the freckles, I just want to put on some cream blush. Okay, I'm gonna use the shade Flamenco. I was gonna use this one in my last full face first impressions, but then I was like, oh, that's very bright. So for some reason, I'm drawn to that today. I'm just going to apply a small amount and then use my, where is it? My angled face brush by EXO Beauty just to blend it out. And yes, EXO Beauty is my own brand. I've been getting a lot of questions about that lately. I think like some of my subscribers are new. They're like, why do you always promote that brand? It's mine. <laughs> I made this. I'm so proud of it. Okay, actually like when that's blended out it looks quite natural. So there you go. My wig is like not on properly right now by the way. I'll like readjust it once I'm finished with my makeup. I love the under- ah! <laughs> it's 
throwing things. I love the undertone of this. It's making sure to blend it really, really well. I feel like my wig's like riding backwards and I'm like, I don't know, my head looks really weird. I'm gonna take a very light layer of powder. This one's actually a little bit too dark for me, but I'm just using a tiny amount. This is C30. And right now I'm like an MC15 or something, 20 maybe, I don't know. But literally just doing like the smallest pat through. I've got some gnarly pimple marks. Oh my god, seriously, why does this keep focusing on my drawers all of a sudden? My camera is such garbage. Just using that um, shape tape again just to conceal these little brown curls I have. I really like these blushes, guys. Alright, let's try this freak stuff. Like, where am I going to put it? I guess I'll just like chuck some wherever. We'll just roll with it. So the tiny, tiny little freak looks like this. You can actually buy like a double size. Like, how do people not lose this? Like, I lose things when they're too small. Like, is it going to be awkward to apply? I don't know. Basically, it's like this little liquid that mimics freckles. So you can dab them on, blend them out a little bit. We're just going to wing it and hope for the very best. I'm nervous. I'm just going to like <clears throat> do lots of random little dots. Oops, that's a big one. I'm not going to go too close to my actual like eyes and then I'm just going to take the back of my sponge that's got no foundation on it and just go like this and just blend them out. Okay I need to do like a lot more I think because at the moment they look very random. This one I don't like so I'm just going to use the other tip of my sponge that's got like foundation concealer on it and just kind of make it fade a little more. I'm going to go back over the same areas and just add like some more and use my finger this time. After this I'll probably just run over with a little bit of powder. Okay, let's just try it. I mean, I'm already balls deep, so let's just keep going. It's kind of, oh Jesus, look what I've done. It's kind of hard to apply because it's like such a small little stick. I just look like I've smeared like Vegemite on my head. I'm just like sliping myself. I'm getting flashbacks of that setting spray that left black dots all over my face. I feel like I get a better result when I just like stipple my brush over the area as well. All right, I'm gonna do it again and intensify. So at the moment they're very natural. I'm going to take it a little bit slower and just let them sit for a while. Just some very specific ones and pray that they don't end up looking like blackheads. It's quite fun because I love my natural forehead freckles. It's just that like they cover so easily. I can barely like see them as soon as I put any kind of powder on top of them or like foundation most of the time. I'm going to try taking my powder brush and just stipple it to really over. Okay, I just feel like I can't make this look natural. How do other people do this? I've seen like the results for this freak stuff and it looked amazing, but like on me I just look stupid. I'm just gonna add some more because apparently I just don't know when to stop. I just feel like I need some a little bit closer to my eye area. So at the moment they're all like very low and I'm like, mmm. Blackheads or freckles? You decide. I feel like the ones on my forehead look like quite cute. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna like stop here. We can always add some more later, I guess. I'm gonna try some of this Endless Glow by Revlon. I've never tried this before. Um, and it's in it, the shade Citrine. Oh my god, I'm so itchy. So I'm just gonna use my finger. And remember, I use such a small amount of powder, so hopefully this blends out nicely. Ooh, I love the way that looks. It's really pretty. Look, it's not like sparkly, it's just kind of like a shiny finish. Put it on the other side as well. My skin overall just looks so freaking good because of that sea, cre sea cream. <laughs> sea cream. Yay for cream products, guys. I'm gonna just like pop a little bit of this on my eyelids. Just because I love the texture of it. It looks so pretty. And then I'm going to take a kind of shinyish bronzer. I think today I'll switch it up because I kind of used like a lot of similar ones. Like lately I've been using this one a lot. So today I'm going to use my Tarte Parquet of Princess. It's the shiny one. And I'm going to use it on a jumbo face brush and just apply it around the edges of my skin just to give myself a little bit of a glow down my nose. This is like summery makeup realness. Oh my god, I'm so excited for summer to come around. I'm like, well and truly over the cold weather. Is anyone else just like over it or are you guys the opposite and just like looking forward to like cold weather? I'm also going to take just a little bit of this bronzer and just add a little bit of this. Not like everywhere, just like around my collarbones. Just to give a slight bit of colour. I don't want to like go too heavy though and like, you know, mess with my complexion. I just want to like add just a little bit of something. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a contour. I'm going to use this tart one. 
And then I'm really curious to try out the NARS Orgasm Lip Oil. So I've had it in my drawer for a few weeks now. And I love lip oils, like you guys know. Yeah, just the shade Orgasm. And it's actually like coloured. Oh my god, focus on me, you dick. Yeah, good. I was like, please don't actually look like this. Like, I mean, it's pretty, but like, I just want something sheer and wearable that I can just like chuck on with or without makeup. Just something like hydrating. It's got a little tint of colour. It's so pretty. I'll probably like wear a different lip colour soon, but I just wanted to like hydrate my lips a little bit. Ooh, kind of stings a little bit. My lips are like wrecked from being sick. Like, just so dry peeling like painful just going in it to that contour color again I'm taking a blender brush and just quickly sweeping a little bit of the contour color through my crease and a little bit underneath oh I love this for something different like this isn't normally how I would ever do my makeup this many cream products and stuff I love the way it looks especially with the hair now let's just groom our eyebrows a little bit so first I'm going to take the Bravo conditioning primer this is by Benefit I'm just gonna like push all those hairs up and this will just give a little bit of hydration to like my skin under my brows as well and also like this is supposed to help like grow your eyebrow hairs if you've got gaps and stuff because so it's got like conditioning elements to it but um I find it really good because my skin gets so dry under my eyebrows I don't know what it is and um this just makes like products on top of it go on nicer and then i'm going to go into dark brown by anastasia beverly hills with this hair color and this is the like dip brow pomade gel stuff i'm just gonna like swipe off most of it and i'm just going to apply a small amount of this in upward motions keeping my eyebrows very natural but i will go back in with like a pencil and just fill in a couple of the gaps i've got one like under here I don't know what's happened there, it's like my tattoo is just kind of like fallen out. I should get that touched up at some stage. Going back in with a second layer now. And then I'm going to take Lingering by MAC just to fill in these little gaps in the front. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my shape tape again on the back of my hand. I'm going to take a small brush. This is the little detail nipple brush. And just clean up underneath. I've been loving this brush for this technique. I'm actually just going to tidy up like you can see I've smudged some just here so... I'll just clean that up as well. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Blonde. It's the same product. Just to lighten a little bit because I feel like I went a bit heavy handed. It might just give it a little bit more dimension. Alright, I'm going to use brown eyeliner because I just love brown eyeliner. I know I've used it a couple of times recently but not in a look like this. So this is my Roller Lighter by Benefit. I love it. I just used the freak to like color in my moles and it worked so well. If you've got like a mole that you want to like bring back to life without it looking too fake, like they worked so well. It looks like just like how they normally look without makeup on. So that is the eyeliner on. I just did a very long, flat, elongated kind of like head eye, I guess. Now I'm just using my Better Than Sex mascara. Just applying that to the. Should I just do it now? I'll do the bottom too. Okay, honestly though, like. The freckles are growing on me now, like that they're kind of settling in. I added a few more up here, just because I feel like, I don't know, it's a bit sparse. I love this mascara so much. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorites of all time. I actually really like the way this looks with just like the lip oil and like no falsies, but actually, you know what? I'm gonna use some natural falsies because I haven't used natural falsies in the longest time. I'm gonna add on some flower child lashes. These are definitely one of my favorite, like, demi pairs, which means like half pair of lashes. These are so pretty just for like every day or for people with small eyes or for people that just want like a super cat eye shape. Literally, you just have to like pull them out of the packet. I'm gonna trim off the very edges and take your XOBD lash glue or whatever glue you like. Ooh. By the way, yes, I know my earrings are odd. I couldn't find my second sword earrings and I really liked the sword so I was like you know what I'll just wear one and then I'm going to take my little lash applicator tweezer and then just apply that right to the outer edge of my eye just to add some volume and they're much more noticeable when you're not wearing eyeliner as well like they really just elongate your eye and look so pretty you can coat them with mascara too I want to see if you can like see the difference just by looking I don't know like I can see it in the mirror I'm going to add some extra mascara to them they just like wing out the outer edge of your eye and make your eye look more like long. I'm going to take my little, where is it, my little contour palette and just take the highlighter shade and just apply that to my inner corner. God, I love this look. Okay, now put on the other lash. Just use your tweezer to get it into the right position. I feel like you can see the lash better on this side because this side is like my shit lash side. 
they just like lift it out of corner they're so pretty they're so affordable so if you've never tried them like you need to try them especially if you like a really natural look just like enhancing like your real natural beauty like that's what these ones do they don't just like add heaps of like falseness or fakeness it's literally enhancing your eyes enhancing and lifting and if you're like older and you don't really like the look of false lashes they're perfect as well like I put these ones on my mum um, and she loves them I also put them on my friend um, who has like a very smaller round under eye shape they look amazing on her just to like help bring her eyes like a bit longer rather than so round they're so stunning I'm going to use a little bit of nude eye pencil this one is by Colourpop what do you guys think oh I love I'm going to add a little bit of my glow mist by Pixie just over my chest and over my face oh, it feels so good you guys I'm gonna wipe off this lip oil and put on a different lip color. I feel like that setting spray just made the freckles go like bright pink. Hopefully they dry down to like the same color as before. I'm gonna start with my favorite lip pencil, Mari by EXO Beauty. And then once that is on, I'm gonna go in with my new EXO Beauty lipstick. This one here is called Medita. Probably pronouncing it wrong. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Just applying a small amount on top. If I like swatch it for you, like, it's so pigmented, it's a cream finish, it's beautiful. I definitely want that kind of like creamy finish today with this makeup look. Although actually, you know what, I might add just a little bit of the tinted lip oil on top. Just right in the middle, just because my lips are so dry and just to add a bit more shine. It looks so pretty with this hair. What do you guys think of this makeup? Do you like it? I'm going to add some more mascara. Okay, this is, I'm just like grabbing whatever's in front of me. This is the mascara revolution, makeup revolution. Just adding a little bit more. And let's take out, whoops, these clips and just fix the wig. Okay, honestly, I am obsessed with this look. I think it's so pretty for like summer. I am so hyped about this product. This was so good. The Endless Glow Liquid Highlighter by Revlon. Once again, this one was in Citrine. I'll list all the products I use down below. But I just love the way they made my skin look. It's like super strobey. Like it's not shimmery and like a normal powder highlighter like it literally like gives you that intense like editorial like strobe like creamy looking highlight that just like blurs your skin the freckles actually like yeah I think it's just because I like stare too hard at the freckles I'm like oh they're so fake looking but like when you don't think about it too much you just see them from far away like it just kind of looks like normal freckles I love the eyeliner and the brows are like I don't know like fluffy much fluffier and like thicker looking than I normally go for but I've got the wig on you know so I feel like it suits soft lashes a soft peachy lip color like it's just so pretty so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video trying out some new things and some old favorites as well let me know what kind of products you want to see in my next videos and what kind of looks you would like to see and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>